In this video, we will focus on the vestibular and auditory systems as they relate to sensory processing. The vestibular system is located in the ear and plays an essential role in the relationship between our bodies, gravity, and the entire world. It also helps to identify where our bodies are in space. For example, it helps to inform us whether our body is stationary or moving, how fast our body is moving, such as speeding up or slowing down, and in what direction our body is going. Children with sensory processing problems may become under-responsive or over-responsive to vestibular input. If a child is under-responsive, they are not getting enough vestibular input from their environment. These children may seek more sensory stimulation by doing activities such as running, jumping, spinning. They may appear uncoordinated, clumsy, and unable to sit still. If a child is over-responsive, they are experiencing more intense vestibular input from their environment. Therefore, they may avoid frequent movements and transitions due to their vestibular system being overwhelmed. These children may avoid swinging and climbing and other activities where their feet leave the ground. These children may move more cautiously and slowly through their environment due to feeling unbalanced. If your child is under-responsive or over-responsive, try these fun at-home activities. If your child is under-responsive or sensory-seeking, you can make a homemade obstacle course. Here are some options you can do. You can have them first jump from one pillow to the next with their feet together. Then you can have them play hopscotch inside using stickers or outside using chalk. You can have them do jumping jacks and make it fun by spelling their name or their favorite color when jumping. You then can have your child do wheelbarrow walking with you or a partner, or have them walk on a straight line inside using tape and outside using chalk. For over-responsive or sensory avoiding kids, you can have your child and a partner stand back to back and twist as they tap each other's hands. Or you can have your kids stand against the wall and you can put different colored stickers behind them. They will twist and tap the color you call out. Another activity you can try are yoga poses. The first pose you can try is called legs up the wall. You can do this with or without a wall, but have your kid lay on their back with their legs suspended in the air. The second pose is the bridge pose. Start on the ground and then push up into a bridge. The third pose is child's pose. Here are some more activities you can try at home if your kiddo is under or over responsive to vestibular input. The auditory system is located together with the vestibular system inside the ear. This system is how we hear what is going on around us and it enables us to identify where a sound is coming from. It requires effort and intention to actively listen in order to take in the information, process it, and produce an appropriate response. Children with sensory problems may become under-responsive or over-responsive to auditory input. If a child is under-responsive, they seek more auditory input by talking louder, making noises frequently, and craving loud sounds within their environments. These children may prefer to keep their television and music very loud. If a child is over-responsive, they typically avoid auditory input because they are easily startled by normal, everyday sounds. These children may fear or become distracted by sounds that most of us don't even notice such as vacuums, flushing toilets, fans, clocks, and outside traffic. This may cause them to become anxious and react by covering their ears, crying, or running away. If your child is under-responsive or over-responsive, try these fun at-home activities. If your child is under-responsive or sensory-seeking, you can make noisemakers. In this video, we use these four objects, rice, beans, coins, and noodles. We used a toilet paper roll and we placed tape on both sides. Then we rolled it up in tissue paper and tied both sides with ribbon. 
You can also use a paper towel roll for a larger noisemaker. You can be creative and decorate these however you'd like. If your child is over responsive or sensory avoiding, you can play this game at home called What Sound Is That? First, have your child close their eyes. Okay, then you can make noises using various objects around the house. Have your child what identify what noise you made. When they answer correctly, ask your child if they would like to make the noise themselves. Great job. You can also use objects around the house such as a blender, flushing the toilet, and opening and closing sound? cabinets. Microwave. Good job. Do you want to try? Good job. Here are some more activities you can try at home if your kiddo is under or over responsive to auditory input. Therapeutic Listening Quick Shifts is a program that uses modified music to help regulate under or over responsive sensory systems. If you feel that your child could benefit from the Therapeutic Listening Quick Shifts program, please contact your occupational therapist. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any further questions, please contact your local pediatrician or occupational therapist.